me that you don't need to know everything in the jam syllabus before you can get a 300 plus in your exam yes that's possible today i'll be teaching you how to answer utme questions correctly from just the little knowledge you have about the topic or the subject you are answering questions on this method i call it the elimination method because i've noticed that utme is actually very easy to pass because it's a very unique exam which i feel is even easier than the wayek exam because it is an objective kind of exam there are four options that you have to pick from that means that if you are able to eliminate rightly you have a 50 percent chance of passing every question even questions that you don't know this video is going to be helpful for you whether you feel like you have really studied well for the exam or not i'm going to be going through five different questions on five different subjects with you but now you can easily use this elimination method and get the correct answers for these questions when you see them in your exam let's get into it taking a look at the following questions and these questions will help us understand how we can rightly use the elimination method to solve past questions or questions you see in your examination so this is a physics question and it says three resistors of resistances two ohms four ohms and six ohms are connected in parallel what will be the resultant resistance i want you to understand that when using the elimination method at least you have to know something about the subjects that you are solving a question on or the topic the one thing i know about um this question right now is that when resistors are connected in parallel their total resistance is lesser than the even the smallest resistance but when they are connected in series their total resistance is greater than the greatest resistance that's why i put rt total is greater than r greatest so now using this method it helps us to save our time and prevent us from having to do stressful calculations in this method you can see that that our answer will surely be lesser than two homes so we'll go to the options which option is lesser than two homes that is option b 1.2 homes so that will definitely be the right answer so the next physics question says the first experiment by an object of mass 60 kilograms in the moon's gravitational field is 1.002 times 10 power 2 newtons what is the intensity of the gravitational field okay let's say i don't even know anything about this i just look at the options what are the units the options are measured in the unit is newton per kilogram that means if i use the newton to divide the kilogram that means i should get my answer so which one is in newton what is the value of the figure that is in newton it's 1.002 that says power 2 and that's 100.2 newtons right divided by 60 so when you divide it by 60 at the end of the day you get option b 1.67 newton even without knowing the formula or without even knowing anything about that subject or topic angiosperms and gymnosperms belong to the plant group known as if you pay attention to this question you can see sperms ending each of the words that means that they have to belong to the class spermatophyta if you use that to answer this question you are definitely right so angiosperms and gymnosperms belong to the class spermatophyta if you don't know that i would like you to read on it and on the, this, is, this is under classification of living things or classifications of plants specifically let us look at this question the question says choose the nearest meaning to the word in bracket okibe was rosicated for his derogatory remark so derogatory is the word in brackets right so he said nearest to meaning then option a cannot be right okay they can never be investigated for complimenting the principal compliment means give somebody a good remark the principal cannot investigate okay for giving him a good remark no that would have been right if it was opposite in meaning b says unwarranted unwarranted means the principal did not deserve it but unwarranted doesn't really tell us what he said so let's put that on probation the next one says lackluster lackluster simply means dull uninspiring unimaginative it doesn't really really go well or sit well in this case or you say unsavory that means bad unsavory means bad distasteful you know and if you look at that very well that really fits into what we're trying to do so i've eliminated three options a b and c now i have the left with me so this last question is on chemistry and it says an element z contains 90 percent of z with mass number 16 and atomic number 8 and 10 percent of element z with mass number 18 and atomic number 8 its relative atomic mass is so with some little knowledge on relative atomic mass relative atomic mass the aggregate atomic mass or mass number of that element based on the number of isotope it has all right so if you have done with mass number of 16 with 90 percent abundance that means the mass number will be closer to 16 than it is closer to 18. so which one is closer to 16 than it's closer to 18 option a and option b and it cannot be option a because it has to be between 16 and 18. so that means i've rightfully eliminated option a option c option d and i have option b as the answer left so this is how to use the elimination method if you calculate it you actually get 16.2 so this is how you can save time in your exam hall. right so you see that it's not so hard try to practice as many questions as you can using this method i just taught you i really believe it's going to help when you get into your exam it's going to surely boost um, and give you that confidence that you need i know you found value in this video kindly like i have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers before the end of march kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell thank you so much for watching 
bye see you in the next video